The holidays wouldn't be as lovely as they used to be for the family of Alexander Woods, popularly known as Big Scar. The 1017 record label signee who had been in the limelight for a couple of years before the unfortunate incident that led to his death was known as one of the fast-rising rappers of the new generation. Curious to know the disturbing truth about how Big Scar dropped dead? Keep watching till the end of this video to see how Big Scar really passed away. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Big Scar's Death on December 22, 2022, the world lost another talented rapper, as Big Scar reportedly passed away. His record label boss, 1017 Records CEO Gucci Mane, confirmed the news with an Instagram post. New updates have now been made on the death of the late rapper Big Scar. The late rapper's uncle, Arthur Woods, told news outlets that Big Scar overdosed on prescription pills at his girlfriend's house in Memphis the day he passed away. Big Scar's uncle said he did not know when his nephew got the meds, and he further explained how Scar also battled depression since the death of the late rapper's grandmother. He said it took a big toll on him. However, the police continue to investigate Big Scar's death. When the news first surfaced about his death, some sources believed the late rapper was shot and killed because he had once suffered a gunshot wound a few years back. Big Scar was shot in the hip in 2020. He had to have his appendix removed and his right leg realigned due to the bullet going up to his spine. In the 2020 shooting, the unfortunate incident almost cost the late rapper his career. Scar revealed in an interview how the harm done to his internal organs was terrible. He remarked, I was moving, so the bullet kept traveling. Scar was hit in the hip when he got shot, leading to the rapper being split down the middle to be saved, as he explained. The rapper gave a detailed description and revealed, my insides got messed up and they had to remove my appendix so I could walk again. I recovered and bounced back way quicker than I thought though. He further explained, It's rough out here. What I'm rapping about is what's going on where I'm from. It's the slums. It's the trenches. It's the hood. It's tough. It's real. Rappers and fans react to Big Scar's death. Founder of Big Scar's label, 1017 Global Music, Gucci Mane, confirmed the sad news of his signee passing away with a post on Instagram. This hurt, I'ma miss you at Big Scar, with a crying and heartbroken emoji. After Gucci Mane's heartbreaking confirmation, other celebrities went on to pay tribute to the late rapper through their respective social media platforms. Rapper Key Glock posted, This wicked WTF, bruh. Earlier in one of the Instagram posts by Big Scar, he revealed that he will be joining Key Glock in his tour, Glockoma 2023. Popular YouTuber DJ Academics dropped a tweet regarding Scar's death through his Twitter account that read, R.I.P. Big Scar. His fellow rapper Enchanting, who is also signed to the 1017 record label, posted an Instagram story in which she posted a photo of her and Scar hugging and captioned that photo saying, I'll do anything to hug you one more time. She then posted a blank picture and wrote, I don't want to talk. Sorry if I don't answer, I just can't, with a broken heart emoji. Big 30 was as shocked as the rest of the world, and he reacted to his colleague's death on Instagram with a photo of the 2022 class cover, where he's seen next to Scar. He wrote, We done that, with a purple heart emoji. Big 30 included a second post and said, what they talk about. You know what was up with us, and added a broken heart emoji. I can't tell Shiesty this. I love you cuz, we was together last night for hours. You know how I came about you. Another one of Big Scar's fans and music journalist Tony M. Centeno also paid tribute to the rapper. He wrote, Big Scar has reportedly passed away. He just wrapped up a major year and was preparing to tour with Key Glock and perform at Rolling Loud LA next year, Centeno added. The worst part is that he died right before the holidays. My condolences go out to his family, Gucci Mane and 1017. R.I.P. Big Scar. Rappers weren't the only ones who felt the impact of Big Scar's passing. It turns out Big Scar was a big name for a Memphis Grizzlies who always added his songs to their playlist before games. Shooting guard Desmond Bain said, It sucks, all these young, talented black artists and people dying too soon. Fellow Grizzly Ja Morant said Scar's death was something you hate to see, especially being so young. Had a whole future ahead of him. Prayers out to his family. Big Scar's beef with rappers.
Big Scar doesn't seem to be one of the rappers to start a beef with his colleagues in the industry, but this one time, he and his cousin, known as Poo Shiesty, were at Loggerheads, and it wasn't a good one. The rappers once had a collaboration titled Big Grim Reaper Mixtape, which peaked at number 25 on the Billboard 200 chart. Big Scar and Poo Shiesty's beef wasn't the type that led to violence or anyone losing their lives, but it was quite unusual, as the two individuals had always been cool buddies. However, in 2020, they both stopped interacting with each other and stopped following each other on Instagram. Also, Big 30, who is close to and has known both, stopped interacting with Big Scar, despite always liking and commenting on all of his posts previously. The rappers who had always made cameo appearances or even featured each other in their songs stopped doing so, and this got their fans more worried, as no one knew what was going on with them. The icing on top of the cake that made it certain that they had a beef with each other was when it was Poo Shiesty's birthday in December, and Scar said nothing about wishing him happy birthday on the internet. Big 30, who was also involved in the beef a little bit, didn't wish Big Scar a happy birthday when his birthday came. Everyone kept wondering what was happening as these people were really close before the fame started getting too much and they were always down for each other no matter what happened. Shiesty further gave hints about their fights when he started posting subliminal stuff about people having to do stuff on their own and make their own money, even if they were a family or friends. Then it got people thinking if Scar was jealous that Shiesty blew up sooner and stopped having him around or if Shiesty was just ranting about another person. Later, Scar rapped in one of his songs and said, Say I'm gon' die if I send shots at little cousin. Grim Reaper gang, I forever hold grudges. Stop putting on an act. You ain't living like that. You ain't caught you no body, lil relax. The streets were full of guesses as their fans had different opinions about what might have happened. Some people felt it was an underground beef that they didn't want anybody to know about, while some thought it could have been pure jealousy due to one person getting popular over the other. Well, no one knows for sure what went down except for the rappers themselves and those close to them. Unfortunately, on April 20th, 2022, Poo Shiesty was sentenced to five years and three months in prison for his gun conspiracy conviction linked to a confrontation outside a Florida hotel in October 2020 that ended with a man shot in the buttocks. Unfortunately, Big Scar won't be able to perform one last time for his fans worldwide. May the rapper's soul rest in peace. Do you think Big Scar passed on from an overdose of pills, or do you think it's one of the regular gang violence? Join the conversation and let us know in the comments section below. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks.